Hey everybody, this is Frank Strong with the Lexus Nexus Business of Law blog. I'm here with Bill Henderson, and we just finished up a session on the future of law, and he was part of a group tasked with rethinking systems and delivery. Bill, tell us about the uh, the big conclusion the group came out with. Well, in our conclusion, we were trying to rethink the practice of law, and we started with the premise that we need to change the the, the, the fundamental foundational incentives. So we want to shift risk from the uh, corporate client onto the law firms, or at least share it. Uh, once that happens, uh, we have uh, we're going to have our law firms lock in their top line uh, revenue, and they're going to begin to rethink how they actually provision the work. And we think a lot of things are going to fall into place. Uh, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to do the work more efficiently, uh, how to staff it with cheap timekeepers without compromising quality we're going to substitute technology for people and we're going to and with all our time savings we're going to have that uh, time being available to resell to other uh, uh, other corporate uh, uh, clients and so we actually thought that this first thing uh, uh, shifting the risk from firms or sharing the risk and partnering with clients was the absolute uh, key. But a lot of the other kind of KM and technology solutions are going to come after the fact. Although we're at ILTA and typically we think a lot about technology, uh, we think these foundational business processes need to be laid first and uh, uh, include the incentives right and then the technology will just be layered in almost effortlessly, almost seamlessly. Now that's uh, very eloquent. Oh, I'm a professor. <laughs> you are a professor. <laughs> yeah. What are the challenges that go along with trying to do something like the, that? The first thing is uh, is getting the uh, the uh, kind of uh, moving away from the original legacy system, and a lot of people are very wedded to it. And I think that if I, we had to put the risk factor, it would be just getting the firm to agree to. A lot of people say it's impossible, uh, but we need to go down this road. And I think uh, just uh, just agreeing to go forward is where the, all the risk is. Okay, and. What uh, what does success look like? Success looks like well, uh, we know from and there was some people here from uh, from some UK law firms that are actually fairly far down this road. Here's what happens: uh, 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 you lock in long-term relationships, so you're not worried about losing your customers. You're managing the margins, so you're plenty uh, profitable. Uh, your lawyers are creative and collaborative. They don't want to leave your uh, firm. Uh, you, you you really move to a sustainable uh, path uh, where you feel like you have your client's best interests at heart, and you can bring in young people and you can train them. And this is a highly multidisciplinary play. So at the end of the day here, we're, it's a team-based environment where lawyers are collaborating with allied professionals on, on a peer uh, basis. And so we just think it's a win for the client. It's a win for the owners of the enterprise. It's a win for the legal professionals who are going to work in the enterprise. Okay, final question. Yes. What is the probability something like this would be implemented in the next, say, three to five years? Well, it's it's already implemented in some UK firms. It's working splendidly. I think that uh, firms like Seifarth and, oh, I don't want to just, uh, Lidler for sure, uh, Brian Cave. There's, 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 and I don't want to short sell any firms, but there's quite a few firms that have started this and they have the ability and they're seeing these early returns. And so they're, they're going to scale that out. So it's definitely going to happen. The probability... Uh, of it spreading, I mean, it's going to t it's, it will be a dominant model. I would say in ten years, it will be it will be like, why aren't we doing this? How far along are we in five years? Because well, this is where the market needs to go. We need to go better, faster, and uh, cheaper. We can do all three. Professor Bill Henderson, Indiana University. Uh, Thank thanks. you so much. Thanks, Frank.